and welcome to that British Homestead. My name's Nick, and today I thought I'd take you through seeds that you can start, and you need to start ordering now in February for March. So, let's get started. So, I thought I'd start off with carrots. There are probably a million and one different types of carrots you can get, and I have a few packets that I want to try, and some of them are like golden oldies that I'm going to be using. So, I've got one called Purple Sun, which is a purple carrot. Focus! So, it's like a purple carrot. Um, that's quite a nice one. I like purple carrots just because I think it makes it exciting when you have kids to have something a little bit different. Um, this one's called Red Samurai. And it is a red... Um, carrot i do get these from all over so this one's from uh seed mega store um this one's called purple sun it's also from seed mega store this one's called purple haze and it's a purple carrot um but it has a red a purple it's a purple carrot but it has a orange center so that's quite a nice one as well especially when you peel it um, that's quite an exciting one to have. This one's called Melbeck and it's a red carrot. It's a nice one. Um, I haven't tried that one before, I don't think. Um, and I'm quite excited about that. I've grown purple, uh, red carrots before, but not that one. I think it was Red Semi I tried this year. Um, this one is Paris Market. I grew a similar one, which was called Atlas, um, which I think I have in my hand here anyway. But this is like a new variety called um paris market i'm also going to be trying some royal chantenay carrots which are really nice if you have an issue growing carrots i do find chantenay carrots are much much easier to grow especially the circular ones so like paris market or um what they called atlas fantastic um also with carrot seeds i find the newer and the higher the quality of the seed the better the germination i've been very taking years to learn how to grow carrots and i've actually successfully done it this like last year so they're all my mistakes i've made uh, this one's called king autumn true which is from mega seeds as well mega seed mega store really great website i mean i've got five thousand seeds here so forever um these ones are called yellowstone they're a yellow carrot focus there we go and they're from um organic seeds so another different place i bought them from i don't remember where um these ones are just a rainbow mix these are from seed mega store got 250 of those and these ones are a rainbow mix as well which i got from unwinds so probably from my, when i go to any sort of shop i always look at the the seeds and normally end up buying something so those are the carrot seeds that will need to be purchased for a bailey oh sorry Bye. And Bailey, I just want you to know that Bailey was having a nap up until I was like, right, I'll get the camera then and do something. And now he's being really loud. Okay, so. So I also have some selfie, selfie. It's, I'll show you a picture like there-ish, but um, it's a, um, like a carrot, like thing if you've had it before you're like that's not a carrot it's a root but it kind of tastes nutty it's really good um i tried it for the first time i can't remember if it was this year or the last year very good so i tried i'm gonna try to grow it um i've also got some red um soup celery which is from mega seeds um this is the first time trying red i did grow pink celery last year called blush that did amazing like way more than i thought it was going to it was ridiculously good um apparently so the green celery is harder to grow than the red and the pink varieties so there's a tip um i've got some mysterious leeks that are in the back of the bottom of a packet that i haven't labeled mm, mysterious leeks and i have my sub-zero ones here 
I do have normal lights, but I don't know where I put them. Um, I've also got some deep, deep purple spring um, onions here. And they do look beautiful, don't they? Focus. There we go. I've got ones called um, that are purple that are called Lilica. These are from Primrose Seeds. It's a new packet. I haven't tried these before. Um, and these ones are called North Holland Blood Red Red Mate Seeds, which are an onion seed, um, spring onion, I should say. And then these ones as well, which is called Shutgate. My pronunciation is not fantastic. But they're an organic white onion, which are very exciting to have. Put them in a pile. Um, another thing I thought, like, which that you could be growing in uh, March this year, if you get the seeds ready, is broccoli. All right, so I've got Burbank, which is a white one, if I remember correctly. I have another one called Atlas, which I don't think is a sprouting broccoli. I think that's a... No, I think it is a sprouting broccoli. I can't remember. Um, I've got another one called Rudolph. I've said this before, Rudolph is the best. Um, it gives you so much broccoli and it lasts forever. Like, it just keeps giving. I like that one. And last time I did one of these videos um, of the seeds I'm buying, as you can see, look, there is the uh, white broccoli focus. There we go. So this is a mixed packet, but I do have one that is not just mixed. So this is called the Lan Lancus Mix. Exciting stuff. This one is, wow, they all have very different, oh no, it's okay. This one is a cauliflower called Graffiti. I think I grew that last year as well. Um, cabbage called Red Drumhead. Um, fun fact, Bobby, my partner, um, he loves red cabbage. So we do grow a lot of red cabbage because it's his favourite. Um, and we have this one, which is like a compromise. I think it's so pretty. It focuses. So I just got this from Wilco's and it's called um, January King 3. But I just think it's so pretty. We grew this last year and it was just so pretty. Um, I mean, it tastes like cabbage, but it's so nice to look at and it's nice to see growing. Um, this one is another cabbage called... Cali, Cali, Do, Cali Do's. Um, so that was from um, the Mega Seeds again. Another one is, um, I thought this was quite exciting. So I was on Bargain Seeds, apparently, and I bought um, these, and it says that they're ornamental seeds, uh, ornamental cabbages, so they're pink and they are I think white and all different types of colours but I thought I'd have a go at growing those this year and I got one called Red Lando um, from the Mega Seed Store this one's from Marshalls I do buy quite a lot from probably Marshalls and then random websites and any shop I go into right even like my doggy daycare has a shit seed shop apparently so I'll buy them there too so goodness knows where I get them all from this one is called Holland Winter XL. So it'd be quite nice to get a nice big cabbage. So I'm quite excited about that. So they're the cabbages that obviously we're starting off in March. So have a look, have some fun, get something that's a bit unusual. I mean, those, um, what are they called? Ornamental cabbages. I'm so excited about them. And that's what the main thing is about getting seeds, get something you're excited about. Okay, next thing is these are some of the, um, what are they called? Beetroots that I'll be growing. This one's called Avalanche. It's a white beetroot. Some people call them sugar beets. They are so sweet and so nice. If you don't like beetroots, you should buy the wrong ones, okay? Sugar beets are the way to go. The yellow ones are the best. I love the yellow ones. Um, and this one, oh, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this. Shuriga. It is a candied beetroot. So it means it has white and pink rings. Bailey, Bailey. I did actually forget one carrot. It's called James Scarlet Inter, Inter, Intermediate, sorry. 
So just an orange carrot. So I'm just going to put that on the orange carrot carrot table. So they'll go with it. Um, also, I'm, I've got a whole host of um, squashes that I'm going to be using. This is called Sunburst. It is a summer squash. It's a patty pan. I also have one called Spaceship, which is a white patty pan. I've got this um, penis melon um, that I grew last year and they all rotted. So I'm going to try another. T I've got one left. It's from my sister. She gets me um, seeds every year for my birthday. So I thought I'd have a go at that. Um, I've also got some here. A golden zucchini that did really well uh, two years ago really rubbish last year but it wasn't the best zucchini weather last year um I also got my tombola squash seeds but this is my original packet so I'll probably grow the ones that I saved this year yeah these are the ones that I bought so I think I got them off of eBay and I know that you're not you know, strictly necessarily meant to grow them off of eBay, but saying that, I did, and they were great. Um, and it's always a mixed bag that when you get them off there. There's also a few, right? So there are some winter squashes that you want to be starting off in uh, March, and for me, that is my butternut squash. I've been growing butternut squash for a few years now. This year. I'm going to have big butternut squash, I hope. <laughs> so I'm going to start them off really early to try to succeed that. I'm also going to do some cucumber melons. I really like them this year. They are soury, but like good. Like, I don't know, you have to just try them. Um, as they get bigger, they get really sour. But they're good just to have. Um, another thing that I'm going to... Uh, like we need to get seeds for for out of the cupid 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 family is cucumbers obviously so i've got um these ones that are called fir firm pot which is an f1 hybrid i got these from premier seeds um i've got two of those left and i remember them being really expensive but they were good cucumbers i mean fine cucumbers so i want these ones this year i've also got some Chinese yellow ones and some, some of lemon cubes, which um, I bought because I saw them. I saw a YouTube video actually from, um, I want to call it Jacob's Creek, but I don't know. That's not right. It's a seed company, Rare Seeds. And they do these little videos of all the stories of them. They're amazing. You should watch them. And, um, yeah, they're in America. So when I watch them, I'm always like, I need them seeds. And then I spend, like, days looking for them. So I did find these ones because of watching that. But I'm really excited. I actually bought them last year uh, from P Plant World Seeds. And they are still sealed because I bought them in the summer and I can't grow anything that like this that late. So that was exciting. And now let's go on to flowers. As you know, Jasmine loves her flowers. So I have quite a few that we're going to be growing this year. So one thing I'm going to be growing is poppies. So I'm going to be growing them. Um, I've got a few puppies. These are called Ladybird. These are called Danish Flag. Grew them last year. Um, Ladybird's new to me, but Danish Flag isn't. Shirley Single loved them. Oh, my goodness. The, the bees that I had in my garden. I've never had so many as puppies. I'm just growing puppies every year now. Uh, these ones are called Rebecca. Um, they aren't a poppy. They're purple ones, though. These were free. Um, I can't remember where I got them from. Goodness knows. I think I got them from the same place I got some of my tomato seeds. And I'll be looking at them. I'll tell you them. Um, anyway, they are fake uh, saffron seeds. So I'm growing them this year. They grew really well. I actually saved some last year. These ones are a McKenzie's Giant Mix. I grew those again last year. These ones are Cosmos. Um, I was actually really excited about growing some Cosmos. These ones are sensation like right, little flowers jasmine picks all of these by the way um these ones are called blue star i think they're quite cute 
These ones are red sunflowers. I love red sunflowers. These are given to me by a friend, just in a little packet. These ones are called um, Scarber, Scar, Scarsper. They're quite cute. As you pick them, they were from Wilco's. These ones are from Feather Gills, Feather Gills, Mr. Feather Gills, and they're called Blue Get Them In. I don't know how they are. They are actually seeds that I didn't pay for. They were free, or I made a big seed order. And uh, these are called Scabious, which I just don't feel like should be a name of a flower. But they're like bachelor buttons. Well, I'm not really an expert in flowers, but that's what they look like to me. These ones are called Cornflower. Well, these are Cornflowers, um, and they're called Blue Balls. I think they're cute. Once again, Jasmine picked these. And these ones are called a Parade Mix, and they just look so cute and fragile so these are the ones that jazzy basically jasmine's ones um that she's picked i've also you can get some peas these are early peas dwarf variety um and they are called kelford and wonder so they're quite a cute little pea um and if they're dwarf it means they don't want to grow so far but the pigeons uh, love these so i'm gonna have to cover them up and then i've also got some herbs that i want to be starting so I've got some lemongrass. I'm going to try that again this year. I've got some spearmint mint. And that's from Premier Seeds. I've got feather gills. Mr. Feather gills. You probably were thinking, no, how can you not read anything? Um, and that's called apple mint. I've grown some of this. Um, but if it doesn't overwinter, I've got this packet. Um, and this is called Fever Few. I've heard quite good things about this herb. I wanted to get into like some more unusual herbs. So if you can think of any and tell me what you can use them for, let me know and I will try to grow some. You'll know that this is a very special little tin. This is like, right, I have, I love, I love tomatoes. Like, I love tomato. I love buying tomato seeds. I love talking about growing tomato. I just love tomatoes. So, Jasmine actually got this one. This is Jasmine's. This is um, Macatonia. Mag it's not going to get any better, by the way. My pronunciation is awful. So, this is another one that I saw on that Rare Seeds uh, YouTube. And it was called um, Reese's. And it is a travelling tomato. And basically, apparently, it was used... Well, it was uh, grown by the Native Americans. And when they did the Trail of Tears, um, one of the things they brought was this travelling tomato. And apparently, um, it was also used by other travellers. So it's just called a traveller's tomato, which is a terribly sad story. It's a very unusual tomato. So you can pull the, the tomato apart so you can eat a section of it and leave the rest for itself. I did grow this last year. It's very strange, but anything like that has a really, not a very pleasant story, but I mean, every time I see this now, I'll be thinking of how horrible that was and how remarkable this tomato is. So this one here is called Gold Rush Current and they are so tiny they look like little currants they're so teeny tiny these ones are called sweet pea currants and they're tiny as well just like a currant I'm dropping them all over the floor so they're like a little currant and they're a red one so these are quite similar hello darling but one is obviously yellow and one is um red and these are um all from plant world seeds um and i found so many varieties that i couldn't find anywhere else on there and do you know what i'd actually buy more but i thought to myself you know one metric ton of tomato seeds is just not enough um so these ones are called great white and they are also from plant world seeds and yeah they are really weird like the color like they're an they're a yellow tomato so lower acidity but they're they're almost white and i thought that was very exciting they're more of a slicing tomato as well. Um, this one is called Garden Peach. Apparently, there we go. Apparently, it has the texture of a peach. And I thought to myself, who wouldn't want a tomato that is furry like a peach? Um, I can. I know that Bob's going to think not him, but 
I thought it was quite exciting to have. And it's once again a very pale tomato. This one is called Kellogg, Kellogg's. Um, and I can't remember who told me about this, but I remember hearing about it. And it's an American one. So it's really quite hard to find over in the UK. And I found it. Ah, so this one is going to be something that apparently um, is going to struggle in our climate. So I might grow some inside and some in the greenhouse. Uh, but we'll have to see because I say that and I haven't decided it yet. So I might be like, no, I'm using it all for my um, for my chilies. So let's see. This one I've grown before and I loved it. It is called indigo. Okay. And you see how dark those tomatoes are? That is only when the light touches them. So if they grow in the shade, they're red. But if they grow and the light gets them, they turn like or indigo. And they're really, really cool. So I got them and they're really pretty. So I'm excited about them. Got another one called Azurkia, um, which I believe is another Cherokee tomato. But look how beautiful it is. And I was quite excited about getting these once again from the same place. Uh, this one is called Miss Mi Dr. Wiki's um, tomato. And I heard a story about now, I can't remember what it was, uh, but I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And it's apparently quite, it's very similar to the um, Kellogg's one. But I thought that I would try that one. So you see, it's quite similar. Um, I'm quite excited. It's a bigger tomato as well. Um, this one here is a white zebra tomato. My favourite tomato is the green zebra tomato because it is cuttable but very intense flavor this one is a tombola mix so i like i know it sounds really weird well it's not really weird is it like i quite enjoy having a mix of tomatoes and not really knowing what you're gonna get like a potluck tomato so I bought this and it's just like a medley of different tomatoes. And I thought, you know what? Some of them I'll love, some of them I already have. And some of them I would have never thought of buying. Let's be honest, I would have bought them. I would have buy any tomatoes in. Right, now this one, how weird is that tomato? That's a strange tomato. Do you see it? It looks like, I don't know, like... um some really weird thing so i just thought i need that so i have it um and i'm quite excited about this one as well this one's called zapotec zapotec probably something that's really like rolls off the tongue just not my tongue but i thought that was really cool as well so i was looking through and they've got loads of tomatoes and i was like looking through i find them also i bought this i think i bought this when i first started like growing tomatoes um and i was like okay um i want to try i want to just grow red tomatoes i want to try a lot of different tomatoes so black kim love it if you're ever going to grow a tomato black king's great uh purple calabash fantastic tomato golden nugget great but if it rains they do split their skin ox heart love it um asian blush tiger very beautiful it's like a orange blush basically um i cannot say this word but it's blonde curve chen it means a little blonde girl i believe or blonde girl someone at work is german she translated it for me and i kind of forgotten what it said but that was like a year ago great tomato lovely tomato thin skin and yellow low acidity fantastic super roma um yeah it was fine um i, I don't remember it reducing very much but it was okay um red tomato red cherry can't go wrong with a red cherry can you um chocolate pear haven't tried that one i don't think not yet uh white cherry was lovely black cherry was my favorite between the white cherry and the black cherry on the basis that the black cherry um had like 
The black cherry was one of those tomatoes that when the sun hit the shoulders, it turned really dark, but it was actually a cherry colour. However, the white cherry, I have to say, it caught blight. And I think the reason why I got blight so severely is because of the white cherry. Because it caught it and then everything else caught it. And I kind of blame it for that. Whereas the blonde girl ones, they have, honestly, imagine grapes, but made out, made out of tomatoes. Like grape size, huge, holding up. Like it was huge bunch of tomatoes i've never seen anything like it definitely go with them again beef steak always fantastic um that's just a regular beef steak it was a nice one regular can't remember growing that the um san drio was a good tomato it was fine um the other one oh goodness mex mex can -nish. i'm so sorry if this if you're german i apologize so much um toma tony tomato haven't tried it so that's exciting uh zeb green tree zebra my favorite tomato in the world well no don't say that Look, my favorite tomato so far um red ace great yellow pear i think i grew it this last year but the blight was so bad i don't really didn't really have so many tomatoes it was gutting Blue Beauty is a beautiful tomato. In fact, my biggest tomato I think I've ever grown was, oh, I don't know, actually. It was either a purple calabash or a blue beauty. I cannot remember. I think it was a purple calabash. Only because I thought it was a blue beauty. And as soon as I said it, I was like, no, purple calabash. And chocolate stripe, which is a really nice tomato as well. But... I don't really think it's chocolate stripe because I think that would be brown stripes, but it's like red and green and it's really pretty. So I liked all of those. And as you can see, I haven't even made like a dent in them. There's loads in there. And you know what? Every year I plant them, every year they come up. And this was from eBay. So I don't think it was very expensive either. It was something like uh, maybe 13 quid, maybe less, maybe even like seven like years ago and i think when i bought all of these it was like as a set i got the saffron and and i got these which are free look free my favorite price also obviously when you start growing and stuff you do start you know trading with friends which i think is fantastic i'm trying to convince my allotment to have like um just you know like someone puts some seed in a bag and just writes how you plant them and you just grow them and you're like oh my goodness what's this i think that'd be quite fun so these ones are called orange banana alaska oh that sounds exciting oh. but i'm gonna try all of them i just said to myself this year i'm gonna grow all of the tomatoes all of them I'll grow all of them this year i probably won't grow them um them white them white ones though or they're called white cherry because they gave me blight. Well, my whole area had blight, to be fair, but I do blame them. So if I do grow them, I might grow them indoors in a pot away from all my other tomatoes. So I haven't decided yet. But that is the exciting journey. Oh, of... Yeah, this is the exciting journey of all the seeds I have. And I have to say... I don't have like an amazing seed collection yet, but I do have a quite an exciting one, I feel. Um, and every year it gets a little bit bigger. And um, yeah, so basically what I do is just walk around and if I see something, it's like an ooh collection. Every time I go ooh, I pick it up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still going to be looking for some more seeds for March, as it's only February now. And um, of course, you don't have to just plant them in march you can plant throughout but with tomatoes i like to get them in really early because we have um i wouldn't say short season but we don't have the longest of seasons so it's not like we can plant them all year round we kind of have to plant them now safeguard them from the frost and then um plant them out in the summer so i'm quite excited about that the only other thing that i do want to say that i'm going to be planting is um chicory I don't really know where to put it in the, you know, 
spread of things. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be growing some chicory too um, for the root. I'm going to put them in the carrots. Oh. So um, thank you for watching and please consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye. Happy gardening.